So, one year ago, um, I set up the first product team at our company, and I'm basically just going to talk about why we thought that was a good idea, and the baby picture is just for fun. Um, we create personalised children's storybooks, and it's personalised based on the letters of a child's name. So, in my book, a little girl goes on an adventure to find a um, jester and an ostrich and a bear, and you end up getting the name Jabina at the end of it. And at the time that we're talking about, a year ago, the product was already a success. So the four co-founders had done the you know, textbook lean startup thing, and they'd iterated their way to larger and larger audiences and closer to a product that was mass market, and people really loved it. Um, so over the next 10, 20, 100,000 books, uh, you've got the usual chaos that comes with that mad growth. So we had momentum and scale and more people until basically everyone felt a little bit like this. And um, one thing that slipped during that crazy time was continuing to develop the product in the way that we had done in the early days. And we'd like to think of our book as software because we print it on demand. So we can continuously be iterating on how you personalize the book or the content that actually gets printed. So day to day, month to month, we can keep going. And it makes sense to have a product team to keep developing the product. Um, but in reality, the product, our product, our book, was completely at the heart of our success. It was our business. And it felt really corporate somehow to take that out into a separate team. And our reluctance, I think, in hindsight, came from three main places. Um, firstly, it was just the complexity of making change. Um, your average children's picture book has 32 pages, it's of industry standard, and in order to make 100% of the different children's names that exist out there in the world, we have something like 400 pages in 10 different languages, and poor Pedro, our illustrator, the thought of him having to sit there and redraw the whole book when we wanted to add in a new diversity for the child character or other customizations was really scary. Um, the second reason we hadn't had a product team so far and tackled various projects we wanted to was the simplicity of the user experience and we didn't want to mess with that. Um, it's probably quite common, we had a simple idea, you put your name in and you get this magical book out. So it's a low effort for the customer with this high reward of this amazing moment where you see a child's face light up and they go, you know, mommy, did you make this book for me? And it's really adorable. So adding a little feature like being able to choose the character that appears for different letters in the book with a clear customer benefit of increased variety between siblings, books, and so on, um, we had a real fear that was going to risk conversion to sale and somehow damage the simplicity. Um, and then the third reason was more subtle but somehow deeper, which is just we had this fantastic motivated team and everyone was really passionate about the product and they loved the book. So there were lots of people with lots of opinions and so again, trying to take one person and one team to develop this thing feel, felt like a big ask. Um, but ultimately, the negatives towards cre around creating a product team boil down to uh, hard work, fear, and ego, which did not seem like good reasons not to do something. Um, and the reason for having a product team and continuing to iterate was just being able to create more magic for more customers. Um, and in having that remit, there were actually all sorts of other benefits that it gave us. So it gave us a real um, renewal of our ability to connect with our customers. And in the early days, when we didn't have many customers, we were constantly talking to them and getting feedback and iterating and making the product better. But counterintuitively, the more successful we'd got, the less we'd done that. So the product team essentially became the customer team. And it was the place where insights we generated that would help the whole business. And in developing the core product and speaking to more customers, you just automatically turn the product team into this like R&D hub for other products that we might make, other uh, revenue streams and other ways to satisfy a broader audience. So this is our hardback gift set, um, which we're launching soon. Um, so we actually debated long and hard about whether to have a product team, and it seems really simple when I put it on a really nice slide um, in really nice all caps fonts, but um, there are a huge number of challenges around that, but I would urge you to think about taking your product out and letting a specific team handle it, because even at 20 people, we found loads of challenges, and you can find out more about the challenges at our career site there. Uh,
Thank you very much.